This time on the Pizza Adventure, Kenny Lugs lures the gang to the unenchanted and distant land of Staten Island. Sean, Clark Clancy, Jasmine, Mike Lasagna, Denny Lugs, and myself, M2J, visit Salvadors of Soho, Brothers, Dininos, and Joe and Pats. Where are we? <laughs> so you guys finally made it out to the island, Staten, Italy. What we're gonna do is the first place, the place is called Salvador of Soho. You see, I've never been here before. This is the sleeper hit, you know? I just heard of it, it's pretty new, you know? We're gonna go, we're gonna hit all the classics. But first, we're gonna try the new spot. Maybe, maybe it's a sleeper hit, maybe it's not. There's only one way to find out. I like the B Italian sign. Like it's like a chain, like it's and the, and the vintage Coca-Cola. <laughs> this is a little tacky. Like it has like no personality. We're filming this one day removed from the death of the great Macho Man Randy Savage. So we brought we brought this keepsake with us today. Yeah. Lasagna just pointed out. Yeah, Check this out. Best in no, Tan Five Boroughs. Best in Staten yeah, Island. <laughs> as long as it takes for a Tafari, you know, well, Donald Trump to make pie. There are just one other couple here. We've been here for quite some time, I feel. I feel like we should be here by now. We have been here for a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. She has arrived. First impressions? Looks good. Looks, looks nice. Looks, fresh mutts. It looks freaking good to me. It's amazing. It's good. Fresh basil, good char. It's beautiful. It doesn't have to have a fresh arugula. Frame it. Like it. Right. It's, you know what it's looking like? I don't know. It's not looking like a... <laughs> it looks kind of like a, a, a Lombardi's Grimaldi's. Yeah? Yeah. Well, well, you know why it does. Yeah, because there's, 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 there's history behind this. He's from, uh, he's from Lombardi's. Yeah. All right, let's, let's dig in. If I was in the area, I, I, would, I, I, would, I would definitely grab a slice. It's tasty. Like, there's a lot of flavor going on. But it seems like there's a lot missing, like there's like not enough sauce. Uh, the, cru the crust is good. You know, you notice how a problem we usually have is the crust is lacking in the flavor or the, or the, the, the texture. But the crust is, is on point. The sauce is tasty, not enough of it. It just seems like, uh, I didn't feel like I was eating a slice of pizza, you know what I mean? Glad as an Asian girl's ass. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they're um, really nothing there. It's like three basin of pizza. The crust was thin, but there's no snap to it. Not enough sauce. Uh, the basil and the mozzarella definitely not fresh. Yeah, uh, this is just... Wow. It's not the worst I've had. <laughs> Plants? It was quite bland. Um, I could tell by the crust, it tastes almost like Grimaldi's crust, by the way. The tomato sauce was okay, but it was too sporadic, it wasn't consistent, it was like spotty. The cheese was kind of salty, but fresh. But overall, compared to other places, it's nothing too fresh. The sauce was delicious, but there's not enough of it. We got nice thin crust, nice charring, oily, very salty, saltier than it should have been. Mm. Like, like, like lasagna said, it's uh, it's not a lot of character. It's got good flavor, but not a lot of character. And yeah, it reminds me of the Lombardi Grimaldi style, probably because there's history tracing back to a Lombardi Grimaldi. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm more excited about what we're going to see today than what we've seen already. The sleeper, the the, the possible sleeper hit, ended up being kind of sleep. You know. Uh, it, it, tasty, but you know, you all heard the, uh, you all heard everybody's opinions. The next, the next leg of our tour is going to take you to three of the most well-known, famous spots on Staten Island. Just, you know, Staten Island renowned places. And, uh, I promise good things. I promise good things. the brothers. Um, now we're on the North Shore. See, the rest of the spots are all on North Shore. The rest of the goody goody spots. Uh, brothers is definitely well known around these parts. Uh, I would say I've had this place one other time when I used to live very close here. And uh, dare I say it flirts with Newport, my personal favorite pizza in the world. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. So, what, what time is it right now? Somebody? Time check. Uh, I think we missed the rapture. Yeah. Nice. Oh, 623. So, just for the record, the world did not end. Yeah, just so everybody knows. This was, this was that day. We have a camera at the moment. We can say, yeah. Wow. Wow, that was great. That was, uh, that's baby delivery. They had one fresh out the oh. I gotta get me like a. It looks amazing. I like how 
has personality. Macho seems to be liking a pizza. Well, I'll refute Newport being the best if we ever find a place that is better than Newport, but, you know, that remains to ever happen. Mm. Ever. No? Look at that. Now, now the cheese isn't too stringy. No, now, yeah. We had to let it cool for a little bit. It was yeah. so... Yeah. I like my pizza piping hot. It was piping. It was way too piping. It was way too piping. And it's supposed to make it taste better. Way better now? Yeah, way better. Is, is the cheese an improvement now? No. Yeah, let the flavors mingle. Let everything settle. I still don't like this crust though. Well, hey, we find out that when you, when you cool it down, then uh, it's it up a little bit. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Sauce is good. It has its own nice like little thing to it. Nice presentation. We walk in, we just sit down, pizza's served right away. We didn't even sit down yet. We got pizza right away. Overall, the sauce is pretty awesome. Uh, the crust, inconsistent. And it's too like soft, but it tastes alright. The cheese, I'm not happy with the cheese. But like, I don't know, overall though, if you let it cool down too, we can have it right away. We're starving. So um when you eat right away you kind of you don't savor it and you don't like take it in as a pizza should be. So the second time around, I you know, I'm to judge it better and feel for it. And overall though, it's the best one today so far, but yeah, good place to Where did where does it rank in the overall scheme of things? Um Probably my top 10 so far. It's a good New York slice. That's about it. His answers are always so concise. Yeah. I, I like Brothers, you know? It's like what Mike said, it's a good New York slice. But you know what I mean? There's so many bad New York slices. It's nice to have a good, uh, you know? So that's, uh, if it's like, you know, I figured of all the New York Neapolitan styles uh, on the island, this is one of the better ones. You know? And they, they didn't deliver today. I've had them better. But, you know, sauce is delicious, cheese is delicious, you know, so the daily smell. You know, it was kind of a big part. It's a big card. I don't play it up there at all. Like, I, don't, I don't even know if it would make my top 10. It seems good, but like preferred. Would you come back for it? I'd probably come back. I give it a, I give it a round two. Do you like the service? You know, quick. But this is about pizza. Quick. Quicker than uh, a boy on ramen. Crust is underdone. Don't like that. After it settles, you know, it does taste better. The sauce is good, the flavor's mingled. But the cheese does that hard cheese thing that I'm not a fan of. Oh, God damn it, that cheese is so hard. Hey, uh, hey Randy, what'd you think of it? Ooh, yeah. No, 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 no. No, don't worry, I'll take care of it. No, I told you. Listen, you stupid. I'll take care of it. So, another place, I don't know, I don't know what's up with these guys, they don't like my Staten Island places, alright, but, but, it got a little better. So, we're moving on up in the ranks now. Let's go to Danino's. Here we go, this is love's first intimate, and you Cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> We're going into the cave that is Danino's vagina. This is quite dangerous. I almost feel underdressed. Well, after all the people. Alright, we have lift off. We have Danino's in the house. Verdicts on the Tominos. It's the best place so far. I can actually rank this on the spectrum of the entire city. I don't have to classify it as Staten Island. No. This is the crust I've been looking for all day. All day. But it's good. You just want to shove it in your face. Man, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. It's in the top five. I don't know where. But it gets top five. Of all time? Yeah, I'm very happy. Adina's uh, margarita pie is top five as well. Wow. It was very consistent, impressive, not burnt. Crispy, but it was uh, crust, but I was happy with it. It wasn't burnt. Everything just went together perfectly well. Very happy. Best of the day. I'm pretty sure it's top five. The crust was like, just the way it should be for pizza like this, thin and charred, so it retained its shape. 
The sauce is really good. The sauce is like delish. The cheese is really good. It wasn't too soupy, it wasn't too melted. Just perfect. It's, yeah, top fiver. Top fiver? Yeah. It's no surprise that I love Zanino's. This is my favorite place on Staten Island, the place that I live. Uh, you know, this is my recommendation, and I'm very happy with everybody's positive review of this place. Mr. Morno, you made me warm. Stop it! I told you to stop it! Stop it, Danilo! <laughs> Jasmine is picking up the scraps! She's picking up the scraps, you love Don't look at it! And the beat goes on, yeah, and the beat goes on! Stop that! <laughs> you think that's enough? That's enough for tip? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, was a big hit, just like I knew it would be. Now, we're here at Joe and Pat's. All my life, everybody told me, you gotta go to Joe and Pat's, Joe and Pat's, Joe and Pat's. It's the pizza, Joe and Pat's, blah, blah, blah. All I heard was Joe and Pat's now, finally. I've never been here. Joe and Pat's, supposedly, you look in the papers, you look on the dirt sheets, you look on the interwebs, all you see, Staten Island, pizza, Joe and Pat's. So now we bring the pizza events to Joe and Pat's and we finally dispel the mystery that is Joe and Pat's. Let's find out. A lot of stuff here. <laughs> there cer certainly is a lot of stuff here. This is a pizza. Looks like I need to go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pizza. As you can see, it consists of sauce, cheese, and crust. Oh, is that a pizza? Yeah. I didn't know. Let me see the first bite. Yeah. All right, good. Like I wanted to uh, I wanted to dispel that once and for all Danino's or Joe and Pat's. So finally, Danilo finally makes it to Joe and Pat's. After all these years, after a lifetime of living on Staten Island, we're finally here. Yeah, 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 after Danino's, it was uh, it was hard to like you know imagine the pizza being good that wasn't Danino's. But uh, you know the the crust is good. It's a crisp crust, sturdy. Good amount of sauce. Not a lot of cheese though. Not, not enough cheese. Oh, skimpy on the cheese. Yeah, skimpy Very. on the cheese. I couldn't even tell if it was good cheese or bad. That's how skimpy it was. Danino's. Joe Pass, <laughs> Show and Pass, yeah, Brothers, Sal's. That's a great order. <laughs> I think that's that's a, a pretty good order. I think that's a good order. Are we, are we, are we, are we all in agreement? I think so. Yeah. 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 That's the order. That's oh, the order. Yeah. We're all in agreement. Yeah. 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 Alright, that, that's, that's, that's the first time we've ever had that. We've never agreed before, just like that. So we got a top flavor out of the day. Ma, what's better, um, Danino's or Joe and Pat's? Danino's. Danino's is better. So the Danilo Staten Island tour ended up being okay, you know, the, the place progressively got better, and uh, Danino's was a big hit, just like I expected it to be. You know, I, I, I mean, Danino's is just, that's my personal favorite place. <laughs> the Ma! <laughs> so, anyway, my favorite place everybody loved, that's all I wanted to get out of it. I'm glad that that happened. There's more, there's more. Don't sleep on Staten Island. Yeah, we'll be back to Staten Island in like a few years, more. maybe like three, four years. Yeah, if we have to. Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! But I'm in my own house! <laughs> 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 Farewell of my grandfather, who was featured in the first two uh, videos, <laughs> also known as Grandpa Lasagna. So we're going to blend the slice and pour it out <laughs> for our homies. For our homies. For our homie Grandpa Lasagna. <laughs> All right. Homies and born, Randy Savage. Born in Brockton, Mass, home of Rocky Marciano, the only undefeated boxer. Rocky Marciano. Ever. There you go. Yep. Italian. And, mm -hmm. uh, 
There you go. Well, Grandpa, I love you. Thank you for all the years you spent with me, and uh, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs>